Good morning, game changers, or afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome to the end game. The end of ways, the end of days of suffering and carnage that you're about to see unfold. Welcome. I am not a star seed. I'm not a light worker. I'm a little bit different. The things that I'm going to talk about, you are going to find upon this channel. Everything I say, I can prove. And there have been people who have witnessed all along the way. And everything I've done has been recorded. I am the one who brought about the ascension. This is not normal. It is not false. It is very real. Okay. Um, this is the end of days. This is the return of Christ. And I have brought this about since 2019. After I had my own Kundalini awakening, which is a lot different than most of you will ever experience. Then I started doing things through healing people I'd never seen done before. And then I started changing the earth through clearing Mount Shasta, undoing the false veil, returning the all seeing eye over the portal of gods, which was over Fiji. I opened up the portal of gods. I opened the portal of time. I activated pyramids all over the globe. And I mean activated. I brought in my light, my power, my energy into their energetic base. And I rebuilt the crystalline grid. This is just some of the very few things that I have done from the resurrection of Jesus to reuniting all twin souls and so much more. And all of it is played out on this channel and it is very real. Okay. I can't deny it. It was a very painful yet exciting and beautiful journey. Nonetheless, today I need to talk about a few things. What does it mean to be reborn? Because either way, we are all about to go through a rebirth, either here or into somewhere else. The ascension is the return of Christ. It is representative of the 13 gates, which I have opened all 13, not 12. Revelations 21, 12 speaks of 12 gates. There's actually 13. 13 is the one that they hid from you. Okay. That is the gate of heaven. When I cleared the Nile, and I dried it, it dried up after it turned blood red. I called my power back and I replaced the crystal in the core of the earth from a dark one, rebuilt the one of light and replaced it there. That is when they, I realized I was activating and clearing the 12 gates and opened the 13th to heaven. Then after that, I processed the, the, the excuse me, the death of the earth and her rebirth. And this is relevant for all of you. You've heard of the doomsday clock, right? We have two years left in time is actually true. What does that mean? That means I've changed the earth so much. God has returned. The resurrection has already occurred. And no matter what, you're going to have to go through those gates. The earth has already moved, changed, and is shaken and is going to rebirth herself in front of all of you. This is done through mountains shaking and moving, waters and tides rearranging and grooving, right? Um, and many other things. That time frame truly means that you're being pushed through the gates. And if you are not ready for those gates, if you have not eliminated your entire shadow, not just pieces, it has to all be brought to the surface, including all karma. Okay, because as you pass through those gates, it will kick you back and you won't make it if any of those things are anchored in. I know this. I have actually done the path to righteousness. Everything that I've done is your path home. I hold the keys. I do a heart review in the end and we walk you through the gates. This is exactly what was depicted on the hieroglyphs in the, the pyramids in Egypt. They would have the scales in your heart and that is what they would call judgment day. Now, I actually asked Spirit what they wanted me to talk about today, and this is very, very, very important. It is time to stay focused within. Okay, first, before I deliver this message, I'm going to tell you there is a shock factor um, thing, something that's going to change and rearrange towards November and December time frame. Now, I don't hold solid on time frames. I'm saying December, something about November, December, and even possibly into January. Something big, right, with a shock factor of nine. Now, let me explain a little bit more what that might mean. 
what I have done is done undone anything that is not of God. I undid all contracts of the fallen angels and the darkness that they spent many lifetimes creating. It's all been undone. And if you're anchored into any of those, when they fall, you fall with them. Okay. This is why it's a necessity. That path home is a rebirth. The, the path to righteousness that I created is a rebirth. And it takes, I think you can get it done in about seven months time. And it took me three and a half years to create and undo all of the darkness here. And each one is an entry through the portals. I remove all of your karma and your shadow, including all past lives, because every past life is measured at this time. There will be no more. This is a great reset. You don't go backwards again. You're not reborn to clear more karma. You don't have the same soul ties anymore. You won't. There's no more karma going forward. Okay, you're either reborn here or you're reborn somewhere else and some will never know this life at all. Okay, it's like they, they start all over somewhere else, void of God. That is what judgment day is. It's you reap what you sow. It's karmic based. And if any of those things are anchored into you, if you have not completely drawn them out to the surface so that you can see clearly as you get through all the gates, they kick you back and you can't make it through. And in this two years time, we're rising through the gates, period. At the end of this cycle, we will be into the new earth completely. She is in her rebirth cycle, okay? So within that, spirit really wants you to know something very important. It is time to stay focused within so that you are ready. Okay, this was a channeled message. You are ready when false foundations crumble. This has something to do with a major foundation. Okay, a shock value of nine is all they're saying. Through each gate we rise through, what is not of God will stumble and fall. Okay, and it's a karmic kickback, judgment day. You reap what you sow. Then Archangel Zed Keel came in with a message. The skies have changed, the earth already rearranged. All will be reborn all of it. You're either reborn here. And what does that mean? I'm going to describe that more and more. Foundations must change to match that of heaven, of God, of unconditional love only. Need to let go of the shackles that bind. Need to stand strong against the false structures of mankind and of the mind. You know how a lot of things come in through the mind. They would absolutely control you through that way. And you know the Vs, they've cut you off from source. Okay. Being reborn, crumble or heal forward. All right. So they want me to talk about what it means to be reborn. And this is real. Like they, they kept saying this. Talk about what it means to be reborn. In the path to righteousness that I have created, I've shown it before in a few videos. You can purchase this. That is your way home. It is unequivocally so. In that path, I don't just do your shadow. I don't just give you your power back. I don't just do those things. Those are the simple aspects. There is so much change. We are evolving as species. We are coming back to what we once were and then some. Because I actually took us into 7D, not just 5D. I was being attacked on my journey as well as my twin flame, and he did die. And during that attack, I kept going. I kept bringing down more Christ light. I kept changing more structures and undoing more than I was ever meant to originally. And so therefore, I took us into 7D. I activated dormant chakra systems, and I took us into a new galactic field. And those videos are on my channel. You can watch them. You cannot heal in those, but you can watch them. When you purchase the path to righteousness, everything is about healing you completely. And not only that, you get DNA activations because you should be, but you can't receive them unless you're healed enough to receive them, period. These are not just given because it's, it's very particular who gets to go. You cannot bring any components of shadow and karma forward because they don't match the frequency. We are not meant to be half dark and half light. I have said this before. We are not. They spent many years convincing you of that. They spent many years telling you lies upon lies from Jesus to everything. And it's not true. Remember, God does not only exist in a the house they call church. 
He's all over. He's within you. He's the earth. He's, he's me. Okay. It is super important to protect your future by completely going within, by healing and eliminating and being reborn. You are either reborn here or somewhere else. You heal so much. You upgrade so much. I redo your central nervous system, your 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 DNA. Um, gosh, there were so many things that we did and up and I changed and I healed along the path to righteousness. And I also take you and I dump every past life you've ever had. As you make it through the gates, you choose love. You choose differently from what you've chosen before. You call your power back. You get your DNA activations. Then I upgrade your central nervous system. Your your um, it's so your eyes, your ears. I have upgraded and changed and healed so much for the people of this planet to be able to do as they pass through. But if you are anchored in the shadow and the karma at all, you do not receive them. You fall with the structures that are about to fall. No matter what, we are going through the gates. You don't have a choice. I opened up all 13 gates. I divided all light and darkness. And then I closed off all 12 gates of darkness. And all darkness is going to be removed. So you are either reborn here because you heal so much through that path to righteousness. You heal so much. You really, truly are reborn. I was reborn when I went through the gates. You should be. If you still have not cleared everything, it's going to take you a minute to do. You must protect your future because it's not guaranteed for you. Okay? Everything fits together perfectly, meaning that everything has purpose that you're about to see. Everything that you are about to see unfold and happen to you or around you or to others has a purpose, okay? We are not meant to anchor in necessarily to others, but it does take love and camaraderie, right? The soul ties, not the karmic ones. You must be very careful with that. We were constantly tied on a karmic path in order to clear it and heal it and love it, not bypass it and not judge. OK, I've seen a lot of people undo their contracts because they didn't want to deal with them. And that is not the way we must forgive. We must forgive everybody and ourselves all along the journey. But there's also a big energy of forgiveness at play right now. We must honor our feelings. OK, so in releasing our blocks, we're going to have emotions rise. And if we're afraid to feel those emotions, if we're so caught up in escaping, I need to escape this. Give me a pill. Give me medication. I don't want to feel this. I don't want to feel that. That is the conditioning in which we were all in. Okay. Praying again is praying to something outside of you. But when you meditate, you go within. As you raise your vibration, as you heal, that is the only way to truly truly begin okay manifesting you the the reason we don't fully aren't able to manifest is because you have shadow components in 13 gates not 12 you actually have 13 gates not 12 i did two of those i did uh 12 gates in manifesting in 5d that was my first one and then when i opened up the 13 gates for those who actually are ascending and going through the 13th gate get through that gate when i do the review I did a 13th gate healing for manifesting. These are the keys. These are why you weren't able to fully manifest. Okay. Vibrations too low, too much healing. These blocks are layered, right? Except I bypass the layers. I do them all at once. This is for real, right? And we don't have a lot of time left. And you will notice certain people see it and certain people don't. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So you must release those blocks, but you must be willing to feel your feelings, honor your feelings, be truthful with yourself and be truthful with those around you. But don't let the shadow fool you. Okay. God didn't bring what I did through, right? He didn't have me do what I did to not have it mean something, period. The path to righteousness is your way home. I know I've seen it play out. I felt it myself. I created it and I've walked others through. It's no joke. It's life changing. You are literally reborn here or you are reborn somewhere else. Okay. And if you don't make it through the gates at all, 
then you start all over somewhere else on a brand new cycle without God, <laughs> without your regular soul ties. It's a rewriting. It's a redoing. It is a restart. It's a reset. This is the great reset. They call it that for a reason. Okay. It is about new beginnings, a new earth being born, new ways of doing things. We must come to a space of heart-centered measures. And you can't do that until all your blocks have been released. Period. That's what the path to righteousness does. It draws them all out to the surface. And as you go through the gates, you learn your lesson, you call your power back, you get your DNA activations. Then I upgrade your central nervous system, your eyeballs, your ears, so many things. And it's done continually. Okay, and I'll take us to Sequoia and dump past lives. It's intense. And this is why not everybody will stay. Okay, but no matter what, we're all going through the gates already. You don't have a choice. It's already been done. And by the end, when we see certain things, certain things, it's too late. Okay, now these foundations that are about to crumble include religion, the, the false powers that are upon you, the false controls. Okay, it is about rebuilding into a new foundation. Now, destruction brings beautiful changes. Somebody once did a thing on me before I fully knew who I was, because through my journey, we were all trying to figure that out. <laughs> it's not normal to activate pyramids. It's not normal to resurrect Jesus and to unite Jesus and Mary Magdalene and to undo the false Holy Grail and to do all of the things that came through me and happened to me. To clear out Mount Shasta and to burn Archangel Samael is not normal. And I kept asking, like, who am I, right? Like, who am I? This is, but I know now. My lifetimes were Eve and Adam, Jesus and Mary Magdalene and Sekhmet and Horus. There were a couple others to which I did not wake up upon that I've also cleared. But those are the ones of clearing the path and returning Christ. But before we got titles, before I understood fully who I was, this person told me, I bring destruction for repair. That's what she told me. You're here to destroy in order to be rebuilt. I'm like, well, that kind of makes sense because all of your foundations must crumble. Everything must shake up to be seen and all will fall. United they fall, united we are supposed to stand under the light of the one, okay? This is not just a whoo, ascension. This is the return of Christ. Certain people can see that. Destruction brings beautiful changes, but it's jarring when the world rearranges. This is not the end of days for everybody, but is absolutely unequivocally the end of ways for everybody. And your path home is exactly what I tell you. It is what I've done. And progress is not always noticeable, right? How do you know when you're deep in your emotions and you're feeling horrible that you're, it's working? It's piece by piece, right? Piece by piece. You must feel it. You must honor it. You must forgive every step of the way and choose love unconditionally. But I will tell you that most cannot heal the layers quick enough. Okay. You cannot be anchored into any energy of Mount Shasta. If you've ever done quote unquote spiritual retreats there, you need to purge it. You need to heal that part of the shadow. I've done that. That's what Mount Shasta part one and two do. But I post them on my channel for you to witness. In order to heal it, it's the path to righteousness. It's not a joke. It's extremely painful. No matter what, we're all going to experience these things. No matter what, we're all going to feel some destruction in order to be repaired, in order to rebuild, in order to be reborn. This is a great rebirth. Okay. I like to call it that. I'm going to show you some things really quick though, because I have people all the time coming to me going, what about this person? And what about that person? And I'm constantly telling you, some people can see it and some people cannot. And there's a reason for that. Okay. But if you think for a second that they don't have their own healing that they're doing, don't fool yourself. Okay. They present themselves one way on video, but behind the scenes, everybody's going through their own stuff. We have to be reborn here or we're reborn somewhere else. So I'm going to show you this. I always say certain people run me different than others, right? But if you think for one second, people aren't seeing this all across the globe, you're wrong. Israel is part of it. When I rebirth the earth, 
I, I opened up the gates all over the earth and I started seeing the Garden of Eden spread all over the earth and anything that doesn't align will burn. I've said this. I haven't uploaded that one yet. I don't know if I will or not. I might. Um, then I saw the, the clock. We only had two years left. Okay. And this was a few months ago. So other people are actually seeing that. And then you have people going, oh, don't worry. No, you should care. Okay. Because no matter what, you're going to be pushed through those gates. And if you have any sh karma or shadow, you will be kicked back. You won't be able to ascend. Even Aaron Dowdy, he is one of that somebody told me, hey, do you like him, him and that other guy? Who is that other guy? I don't really like the other guy. I don't watch a lot of stuff he does. Good on him. He may make it. I'm not judging at all. It's just something about him bothers me. What is his name? I can never remember his name. You can tell I don't really watch. See, this guy, Alwyn, he got a download of what's going to happen to California after I did Mount Shasta part two. If you watch my Mount Shasta part two, it's on my channel right here. I said, I saw the wave, the destruction, the earthquake, everything, and I created it. And he saw it right after I did it. So he's definitely connected. Alwyn Yus, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He is one that sees things correctly. Um, but there's another guy that that just isn't quite seeing it. Like you'll you'll know what I mean when you pay attention. But then I noticed the other day that even Aaron Dowdy said why most people won't shift into the new earth. Okay. People are seeing it. Something big is coming and the church isn't ready, but God is trying to wake us up. Okay. If you notice on my channel the other day, I did an activation of the eye of Ra and the eye of Horus. I hold the eye of Ra. My DM holds the eye of Horus. And since there was mishaps and we have not aligned, he has not stepped forward at this time. I don't know if he will or not. I don't know. I needed to do that. That way everybody could see clearly. That was the purpose, okay? The crazy vision of a clock. God said there's not much time left because there's not. What I did has already been done. There's no going back. It all is going to play out now into the entirety of your world around you. And the world around you is going to crumble what does not belong, okay? Um, <laughs> this lady, I thought this was interesting. She's a good Catholic. Here we are. Catholicism has already been undone. I've or We already undid that through the entirety of the ascension. And she goes to hell in a near-death experience and blames religion, because religion is a religion. It's a division and it's not of God. They took parts of the word of God and they created their own Bibles, their own version in order to control and fool you. This is a battle for your soul. It's not a joke. Okay. The rapture, the rapture, Jesus will return. They knew Jesus Christ's true teachings found in lost texts. It's not what you think. Okay. People see it. The moon, this guy, I liked this video because I do things to the moon. And he's like, everybody's looking for specific signs, but they're not realizing that the moon is doing strange things. And that alone is a sign of the return. Okay. Is a sign of the return. Madrid is underwater. Lots of things have been having floods and destructions and earthquakes. And when I did the protection for Israel, I cracked the earth and there was a major earthquake in Afghanistan. There was actually like two of them a day or two later. And in that one, I also said the water came up and hit the side. And then there was a mysterious tsunami that struck Japan like a day or two later as well. So if you're truly paying attention to what I'm doing, if you're watching the words that I say and the videos that I do and the workshops that I do and the healings that I do, they truly do boomerang in your environment. Okay. I did the protection for Israel. I strictly said in there, I cracked the earth. And then I said the water was crashing up against sides. And that literally played out. But your mainstream media isn't talking about it. We disconnected them a long time ago. Okay, because they were false. It's all about mind control. And remember what they said. You need to let go of the shackles that bind. Need to stand strong against the false structures of the mind. All right, my friends, you must be being reborn. You are either going to be reborn here or somewhere else. The path to righteousness does that. That's what it does. It heals you. It upgrades you. You evolve into a new you that was always part of you. But this is like evolution at its finest. 
you will, you must be reborn into the new earth. You get a heart review. I give the keys. This is what we do. God gives the keys upon your heart review. All karma must be gone. You must have chosen against what you did the first time. That's how karma plays out in the path to righteousness that I created. I've shown you guys that several times. It is in my courses. I put everything I did together. It's me opening up all the gates, clearing and healing everything you need to heal. There's so much in there. You are reborn. Okay. I was reborn into the new earth. I've already made it across. I draw out your karma to the surface. I draw out all of your shadow to the surface. And through each gate, there are 12 lessons 12 trials of tribulations if any of the karma and shadow is embedded it's a kickback okay if any of the karma and the shadow is embedded it's a kickback if they're all surfaced you can see clearly and you must choose wisely the second time against what you chose the first time in your karmic cycle does that make sense this is what it means to be reborn here and we're already on the path of rebirth which is death Things have to die. Your structures all around you are about to die. And there is a big shakeup coming in November to December and probably even into January. There's a few things coming. But this is a shock factor of nine. So stay within and let go of the false structures of the mind. Okay? This is truly about being reborn. You are be being reborn here or somewhere else or never here again. Okay? This is not a joke. It's a great reset. It's the end of ways. And for some, the end of days. Okay. And even Aaron Dowdy scene, why most people won't shift into the new earth. There's another one that he works with and he doesn't touch on those things. He kind of copies a lot of what Aaron Dowdy does. And you can see that. So you need to be very careful of who you're listening to. I keep saying that over and over and over again. Okay. Whatever arises, forgive. Don't hold grudges. That's not God. God does not judge. Remember that. God loves unconditionally, and he wants you all to do the same. I've done the same. So many people have come against me. I have nothing but love. It's their choice to take the path or not. So much love to all of you. Don't worry about what others do. Worry about what you do. Come into a place of love, unconditional love, and work on rebirthing. Because my friends, this is a rebirth happening now which is also an ending. Something big is coming, December, January, November timeframe with a shock factor of nine. Stay safe, stay diligent. Once you're awake, you can't fall out of being awake unless you let the shadow take over. Pay attention to who can see all of this. Also, there was another video there where there's been sky trumpets. People are hearing that. That's prophetic, right? The trumpets play out to warn you. Sky quakes, up sweeps. Signals of the end of the world. It is the end of the life that you knew. This, if you're born now, you're chosen to be here because if you choose not to ascend, then others can't ascend that you're related to. It's the way it is. Okay. I'm not a chosen one. They call me the one. Chosen ones are in agreement that you're going to stand strong and clear what you need to clear to help others. But you can also choose not to free will. So much love, everybody. Have a beautiful rest of your day.